So, yeah, I bought the McLaren, everything was fine. One day I'm driving it, it says suspension control downgraded. Mm -hmm. I don't know what that means. Jeez. So I ignored it. Next day, turn it on, it's fine again. Turn it on again. Uh, fucking EBS system fault, mode change fault, all these faults start going on. None of it made sense. Uh, so I was like, all right, this car's got to go to McLaren. Bucharest has every supercar garage in the world except McLaren. And Romania have Europe-wide assist, so they'll collect your car from anywhere in Europe except Romania. McLaren have Europe-wide assist. McLaren will have Europe-wide assist. They'll collect your car from anywhere in Europe if it breaks down except Romania. So um, I spoke to Stuttgart, Germany, which is like three countries away. You've got to go through Romania, through Hungary, through Austria, and then into the like, top of Germany. It's long. Uh, but they said they collect it from the Hungarian border. So I drove nine hours to the border of Hungary from Romania. I went to this small town where obviously I had to grow fuck because I go grow fuck every town in Romania. So I was like, fine, I'll just drop the car off, stay with her until the car comes back. When I got to the border of Romania, Hungary, I fucking forgot my passport like a dickhead. So I'm all the way there and I forgot my passport. So I call up the delivery truck guy and I said, bro, you need to come into Romania like 20 meters. There's a gas station either side of the border. I'm at the gas station on the other side. There's a Hungarian guy who goes, no, I don't like Romanians. I was like, what? You don't like Romanians? Bro, just 20 meters. I'm not Romanian, I'm American. No, fuck Romanians. And hung up on me. So I was like, what? So we, could, so we could see the truck, by the way. We were in a gas station, and about half a kilometer away, we could see the other gas station with oh, the, the other truck. Side of the we saw him. So I call. I start calling him, calling him. He's ignoring me, ignoring, ignoring me. Eventually, I call McLaren back, and they're like, oh, yeah, you uh, canceled. I was like, what? Uh, your delivery truck one guy goes, no, your deli the delivery truck guy called and said that you didn't want to put your car on the truck. Some fucking Hungarian guy. I've never had a guy this weird in my life. Complete bullshit. So that delayed me by a day. Went and slammed my ballerina, came back the next day, and they sent a German guy who wasn't a fucking retard. Picked the car up and took it, and then, to be fair to McLaren, they got it all the way to Stuttgart, took a day. One day they repaired it, and one day back. So for two days I chilled in this town, got my car back, didn't pay anything. And it's been fine ever since. They upgraded the software, supposedly it was a software issue. Mm, but they're saying there's nothing actually wrong with the car, it's just the car sensors are saying there's things wrong with the car, wrong parameters, da 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 da. So yeah, warning lights are a thing with McLaren's. But in a straight line, that car is fucking crazy. Even though it doesn't go in a straight line. Yeah, even though even though it doesn't go. That's the thing with it though. It's like it's 50-50. Sometimes you put your foot down, it's a rocket ship. Sometimes you put your foot down, you don't go anywhere. It's kind of luck. Do you grip or not? Who knows? Dude, that could be an Roll the dice. Diana.